guys. Um, so I went to the Intermediate Inner Sport um, on the 12th. And I just now am doing my result video. And um, I have another show on the 8th, um, the Ride for Pride. So I left my horses packed. So I'm just going to show you the ribbons and tell you like which horse won which. So that might be a little confusing. But um, and my dog is helping me not. Um, okay, so let me see. Oops. I usually do really well at this show. I, this is like, this was like the first show I went to. When I started the show, like the first Nan qualifying show I went to. And I've done really well for the past like six years there. But this time I didn't do all that well, which is okay because I still did pretty good. Um, so the Build the Barn Live, which was in September, which I think was like the 13th. It was the same custom judge. And so a lot of my customs didn't do well there for some reason. I don't know. She placed, like, she, I don't know, she kind of kept placing her friend's horses, I thought. I I don't know. That's just my opinion. And I'm sick, so if you hear me blowing my nose, that's what I'm doing. Um, so, anyway, um, and it was just kind of like, you know, she saw the same horses there, so she obviously didn't place them. Although, we'll get to this, she did place one. Okay. I, okay, I'll get to that. Um, so I showed the, um little donkey with the tack and the cat on it. And if you go to my Instagram, you can see most uh, pictures of the show. Uh, and he got a second in uh, other costume and a an name card. Their performance, sorry. Sorry, I'm blowing my nose. Um, and then I showed, and there's no, there's no separate mini division, so, um, I showed that I have a Chips Arabian, and you can, if you want to see any of these sources, you can go to my collection tour, and you can see what they look like. I showed my Chips Arabian in, he's a, um, Pin and Bean, so I showed him in Part Arabian. He got a sixth placed, uh, let me see. I showed, um, uh, sh showed, <laughs> showed my, uh, going for gold in, uh, let me see, I didn't write on the back, uh, other light breed, I believe, because I show him as an aquatique. Uh, he got a third place. He's one of my best show horses. Um, I have him that I show as an aquatique, and I have the original aquatique from Briar on the other, the Lonesome Floor Mold. He's really good. They're both really good show horses. Uh, I showed, you see, I showed my weedling, uh, yeah. Peter Stone weedling, she's, uh, the Factory Custom Holly Jolly, and she got a sixth, okay, now moving on to custom, I showed a, um, Pebbles, uh, the American Saddlebred, the Pebbles, um, that I bought at Briarfest, and I painted her, and, uh, she's done really well for me ever since I did her, like, two-ish years ago. Um, she always places at least sixth, so she got a sixth, and then the Paintful that actually, he got a second and a Dan card, that builds a barn live under the same judge. Awfuls. He placed exactly the same second. And so she must really like him. I have no idea. Um, and then the last one is a mule I did. The, just the stable mate, the briar mule. Uh, the braying one. And his name's James Bond. <laughs> and um, I actually... He placed fifth, I think. Yeah, fifth. I actually like, forgot about him, <laughs> and, um, so he was, he was left up there for pretty much, I forgot about him, then they started the artist resin division, and then somebody called over the, um, microphone, and they are like, you know, they got this custom donkey in there, and so I went to pick him up, and I realized it was mine, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> 
So, um, if anyone's going to ride for Pride, um, I'll be there the 8th of November. And if you want to go check out my Instagram for pictures at the show, here is, hold on, my camera's not focusing. There. Hold on. There's my Instagram right here. And it's actually, it's got a little slash, like the underneath slash. Not, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, that was that. Oh. And, uh, I have a, I'll tell you what I kind of got there. So, I have a, um, uh, a little, like, custom Welsh sailing that I, um, bought at a show. And I, I, she's really cute. But anyway, she fell off the shelf. Well, I knocked her off the shelf. A little bit. And she broke off her ear tips. So I sent her with uh, Jen Danza, who I use to do my repairs. I sent her, um, I took her to the show. And I gave her to her. And she's going to give her back to me at Ride for Pride. And um, she had a little um, Hagen Renker. The, uh, I'm not sure like what mold it is, but it's a full and uh, she had that there, and it's on, like, this little grass base that she painted, and her work goes for a lot. And, um, I saw this foal on Facebook a while ago, and he was 140 at the time. He's a, just a stalemate, and she had him reduced to, like, 50, so I bought him. Um, or actually, it's a her. And I also, um, traded my, uh, treasure resin that I did, the bay, uh, the bay paint, I traded her to uh, Mac as a Q QH Galdin from Instagram and YouTube. You should go uh, check her YouTube and Instagram out, by the way, because they're awesome. I traded that one for her um, Allegro resin, sculpted by uh, Christina Lucas Francis and painted by Chris Flint, who I'm a huge fan of Chris Flint's work, and she's an old... Uh, the Allegro resin's older, like, from 96, and I don't usually collect vintage. But anyway, I'm a big fan of her work, and I had wanted one for a long time, so I finally got one. Uh, and I sold some stuff to, um, a girl from Instagram, so that was good. I'm trying to get my customs out there. Um, so, yeah, I'll have some stuff for sale at, uh, Ride for Pride. Maybe some customs if I can get some done for that. Uh, so check me out there. I'll have this there if you're going. It's the 8th of November, so... And if you are going, you should get your entries in soon because they're due by, like, 31st. Alright, bye, guys.